morning campers, Funk here, just thought I'd uh, do a quick video before I pack up and uh, get our phone ready to head off to Safewild, uh, got a little private party out there, DJ out and then uh, off to a mate's farm to uh, have a large in his barn with, uh, with a bunch of uh, good friends, party heads, we like to party as the saying goes, um, let's get on to a little bit of the fishing here, come up last night after work on a Friday, just a bit surprised to see how quiet I was to be honest, but had the options to swim, either way I was going to have to get one of the boys to reel in. Um, we got a uh, scouse in peg one. I um, think he had too much vino to collapse, so last night we didn't see him yet today. Missed the best part of the day, he's had fish all over him in peg one. Um, me and peg three, down there we, we got the old uh, Mr B in uh, double. He went and had his first Borough Castle fish out for 16 nights over two years for one fish. It just got a previous place. Ain't a little simple runs water, everybody likes to think it is. And then uh, during the rigs out in Rusty's, um, he went and had one out. We think it was cut and shut. The photos weren't that great, to be honest, but um, £24.04. So that's nice to see that out again. And also, um, the little scaly that uh, Mr B had was uh, unreal. Proper little look at that was. I'd trade that in for some of my better, fit, better weighted fish, to be honest. A proper little look. One I've yet to tick off the list. getting quite frustrating at the moment. All my little target scalies have been coming out. But, once again, I'm on the bank and they're coming out either side of me, so the thinking's there, just not too far away from them. I'm not going to give them up at themselves up too easy. But, um, yeah, up at the crack of dawn this morning, watch the old sunrise and that. Not much in the way of bubblers to chase. Um, you see up there, what looks like a couple of nuts and a penis, is uh, one of my little critically balanced rigs I messed about with last night. I want to be ready for these in the morning, don't want to be putting out wet rigs with wet wet rigs that have got PVA bags that are melting on it and stuff like that. Um, something a little bit different about this one. I don't know if you can really see this at home, at home viewers, but there is actually three boilies and a bit of 20mm PVA there. Just enough to get the hook through. And the old critically balanced. <coughs> that go down, that'll sit over that ship nicely. And you've got a couple of baits there and a really light one for them to suck in. So. Yeah, nice little light lead. Uh, I'm going to show you my lead setup. That's one edge that I don't like to give away. The boys know what I use down here, but be a shepherd, isn't it? Not sheep, as the old saying goes. So I'm going to show you too much on there. It's a faithful KD rig in there, so all's looking good. We're back on last year's tactics now. So let's see if these uh, these scaly showed themselves up. Got one uh, over in uh, in what we uh, call Foster's now, peg two. Pete's, uh, Pete's home, one peg Pete, as we like to call him. One over there, some fishing quite, quite close to the edge of the island, so that's all locked up over there. Fishing like a pretty semi tight line, to be honest. Other two, not too far out, to be fair. Middle one's just out there about halfway ish, and the right hand one's out in the deep. And uh, Although we've had a fish top over the island, which you can't really see on this, for me to get to that, Johnny's just put a lead on it. I could get left hand side of the island, but. To get over there, I've got to disturb the bubbles that are coming up over my right hand rod. I'm trying to kind of tempt fate here with this video because uh, that's been consistent. Nothing troughing, not big, big, big dustbin lids, but enough to say there's fish down there fudging about. So we ain't too far away from them, never too far away from them in here. It's just a waiting game. And I like to get my rods out there and sit on them now. Mark it up last night, so I know I'm bang on the spots that are dummy fish. I know I'm presented. Two on gravel, one in shit, so got the old flipper rig on there, on two of them, and the old famous critically balanced KD on the other fishing over the shit. So I know I'm presented, I know I'm fishing, just uh, a little bit surprised I ain't had one out. These carp gods are really, really going to make me suffer for this July fish, aren't they? I haven't been able to get out on the bank like I had to. Big, big weekend last weekend at Latitude, which was quite nice. Got to uh, have a look around, like a rather, rather nice piece of water there, so. Who knows, it might be the end of Castle Capers next year, but I'll never stop fishing this place, and to be honest, I don't think I'll ever give them a ticket up, because there's only three of us left on the syndicate now, and there are no more new tickets issued, so they're the Willy Wonka's golden ticket, as we like to call them, and uh, only three left, so we're a dying breed up here now on the old syndicate, so yeah, going to hang in here, keep keep my ticket on here, it's just close, it's handy, it's social, we've got a lot of good, good friends down here. And uh, a lot of social, love the place, love the boys down here, the Hobbit awesome in the caravan, so you can't go wrong. And you're fishing for proper nice chunks, so this other water will be a challenge, but I think that's one that I'll do. I'll get the two tickets, I'll fish it, get my feet for a season, see what I think about it before thinking of renewing on this, this possible new water next year. But 
I wouldn't say too much about it. I said too much already, to be honest. But yeah, every now and then, after a few years, it's nice to have a challenge. Done my time on Gunnerton, done my time on Barrow. Though I'm not fishing it hard this year, which is um, a bit unlike me. But all the circumstances this year, we said we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. So yeah, I love my fishing, but also love my DJing. And this year's seen a bit of a upturn in things again. This year, back out there doing my thing and loving it. Really, really enjoying it. It's been really, really memorable sets this year great bunch of friends who we go out with and that's what it's about going out there living life and enjoying it so this year like getting to this weekend quick friday night overnight uh, and then bugger off um it's hard i don't like leaving the place when I get up here feels like home especially when it's looking this good tight this time of year but everyone i like i like my winter fishing i'll hit it hard this winter but if i don't get this july cup before i pack up i'm seriously gonna have to think about booking some time off to get up here and Maybe a Wednesday and a, thir uh, a Thursday and a Friday off work and come up and do a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and a Sunday if needs be. But I will now list July Cup, keep this run going and uh, we shall see what happens from there. But like I say, we're all prepared, preparation is key and all that jazz. So we've got that bad boy sitting up there. That's all ready to go. So if we do see anything happen, I'm, I'm quite happy that I can really ride and chase them. You've got to work for them. If they start topping out and fizzing up, you got fish in your swim, so many people ignore it. Get a rig on it. It's proof that there's a fish down there feeding. He might stop feeding, get a rig out. He might come back, he might not. You don't know. You've got to try him, you've got to chase for him, you've got to work for your fishing. Sitting there like we are now, talking cod shit and behind redundant rods that ain't caught nothing over the last night. So there you go. A little bit of confidence. We've got a few little bubbles coming up right there, just near the left hand side of the pots and still coming out over my right hand rod. So I'm confident it's uh Still a few hours to go before I get a game, sort some tunes out and gather my marbles ready for tonight. Uh, get protein shake down the neck, some smoothies, get the goodness into the system ready for a uh, Sunday session. <laughs> Sunday come down, great fun. But uh, like I say, not here for a long time, here for a good time. So with every high is a massive low. you just got to keep your balance. And fishing is the balance for me. You're going out at the weekends, you've got to have this to come back to and chill out. Gather, gather your thoughts, get your marbles back in your pockets and uh, do it all over again. I'm not one of these people who like to sit around not doing too much. People sitting in watching TV and Big Brother this and Big Brother that and the Olympics and what load of shit. I'd rather be out here on my own, keeping it real, doing my thing. Can't catch them sitting at home. All them boys on the forums and that, I like to have a dig and that. A few people are had a bit of a dig over these videos to be fair but everyone's entitled to their opinion what they don't realise is a lot of this is a smoke screen we have a bit of fun we get it on camera we like to laugh what's wrong with having a bit of fun we don't harm nobody we don't upset nobody oh hello hello left hand rod on the semi tight lines just give me a single bleep so with a bit of luck got a couple of minutes here might even get me to see me getting into a fish here somewhere along the lines but yeah Enjoy it, get out there, have fun. Days like today, it's lovely sitting here up at the crack of dawn watching the water and unfortunately nothing yet. It's been still a little bit moody up here. Nothing all day, flat, calm, no signs. Get dark last night and they all start topping. There's just one's topping at the back of the island. Going absolutely spaz over Mr B and uh, down, right down in Pasty Bay. So uh, yeah, coming down pretty simple, just my bag. We old uh, carpology pillow. And bet you, brolly, rods, travel light, don't bring too much gear with you. See some of these boys turn up for an overnight, and you think you're going to be on the bank for a week. It's absolutely unreal. You have your luxuries, but crikey, keep it real. Right, on that note, we're, we're getting short on time on this little video, so I've talked enough shit for the last uh, nine, ten minutes or whatever it is, so about to say goodbye. Uh, sign the note now, get on the sticky, and uh, you never know, might be back shortly with a fish on the bank, but... Uh, the way this is going, I ain't 100% confident, but we'll hang in, get get a bolly down, leave the rods out there. May even do the proper old school, try temp fate and pa even pack the alarms out and just have the rods laying on the deck with the old bait runners on. Might have to sort that left hand rod out though. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Have you uh, all have a good weekend. Slack lines into tight ones on the old bank boys and uh, get on the sticky. Ta-ta.